So I just got in two new boxes from a company called Jawa, and we're going to review these over two different videos. But this company is always thinking of these crazy new ways to take a product that a lot of other companies make and like take it up two or three notches. So in the next video, we're going to be reviewing these new tubs. I guess they call them trunk storage bins that go inside the Model Y. They appear to have lids on them. They look as if they shrink and collapse and all that. But we'll take a look at that in the next video. But today we're gonna look at something that I'm actually kind of excited about. Uh, so let's get them open and I'll show you what they are. So what we got today is actually Jawa's latest foldable car tray. And these things are actually really great. I actually use them all around my house for sitting on my computer, on my lap or anything, because you can use your mouse and everything. But these are designed to go inside of your Tesla. and the reason why these are a little bit more unique than your average one you see on the market, even their recent ones, are because these can actually be used in the backseat as well because they come with a kit that we'll take a look at that show you how people in the backseat can use them. And the reason why I think that matters is because like we do a lot of road trips with our kids. We have three little kids. And what you can do is you can actually fold down that center thing. So you got to get rid of one kid. Yeah, three. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But... If you have two people in your back seat, you can fold down that center thing and then that person, each person can have a table in the back as well. So we'll try all that out. Let's get this out of the box and we'll give it a try and see how this stacks up against some of the other ones in the industry. Okay, so let's take a look at it kind of first impressions here. So what you've got here is you've got this whole thing made out of wood. You kind of have the wood pattern here and then you have this harder wood over on the sides. And then these are over here are plastic. Underneath you have rubber down here for gripping. I'm not really sure what this plastic piece is doing and why it's all sort of got this design on it. But what's really nice about how Jawa made this is they actually have this really nice hinge that I used on this. We actually have six different screws in it. So it's gonna be very sturdy for you and you're putting weight on it. And you can see on the design how those hinges work there. They're actually a really nice design. To make sure that it's very strong when it's in this status state. But let's get inside the car and give it a try and see what we think. All right, so here's the idea. You're sitting inside of your car like this. Now, there's other kinds of trays that you see on a lot of channels where they actually have the steering wheel one. But the problem I have with those is it's small. It puts a lot of wear on the steering wheel, especially if you have weight like a laptop on it. You're going to put a lot of tension on that. And I have quite a few of those that I've been sent. But this design is very simple. It folds up even smaller than those ones that fit on the steering wheel. But it gives you such a bigger space. And you're not putting any wear in anything. So you just simply open it and it rests right here like this, partially on the armrest, on your right side and on the left side. And they have these little cutouts for stuff like this, this little cutout here. And that's designed on the pat on the driver's side to go right up against the handle here and the same thing on the passenger side. But of course you can use it for eating or working on a laptop or something like that. Let me get my laptop and I'll show you kind of what it looks like to have a laptop in here, kind of what the space looks like. And is it comfortable or is it my arms kind of stretched? Let's, let's, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this with my MacBook Pro. This is my 13 inch. And so we open that up. I mean, it's comfortable enough. You could use it, but you definitely have adjustments. Like I can scoot my chair back and that's gonna give me a lot more room. And so that's about normal what you would be doing at a desk right there. But what's nice about this is there's no movement to it. When you're on the steering wheel or other ones that I have tested, you just have a lot more movement. This just doesn't have it. It's right at the nice height. You can adjust your chair up and down, obviously, to match whatever you whatever's comfortable for you. But this is just kind of just kind of perfect. But what I am curious about is how well it works in the back seat. So let's go try that out next. All right, so I'm in the back seat of the Model Y now, and you notice how they have these plastic kind of areas I showed you on both sides of the table. So what those actually do is that's what allows them to clip and kind of hook onto the handles in the back seat. So Watch how you get this thing installed here. And by the way, this thing easily fits inside of your frunk or your one of your sub trunks. It's very easy to store this. It's only about an inch thick when it's folded. It's very small. Okay, so here's what you get inside of the kit. So you get this piece right here and you got one for either side of the door. And this piece is gonna go down over top of your, what is that? Your window up and down button, okay? Because that's what the door is gonna be resting on. One thing that Jowl was very caref uh, uh, you know, careful to do was make sure there's not gonna be any wear points on the car itself. The second thing you get are these right here. And these are two mag magnetic pieces that you can put on the bottom of the table to really kind of adjust it. So here's how you get this installed. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install this. It's nothing other than a rubber piece that we're gonna slide right on top of this area down there. We just take it and slide it. Well, first I'll show you that you can tell which side's up and which side's down. Part of this down has these little tabs on it, which are gonna hook 
to the right areas down here. You're just going to take this and it contours to the door like that. So you can just, you know, kind of see it down there. And that's just going to be protection so that you're not, again, wearing anywhere on that side. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lower the center portion of the seat. So again, this can't be used in the back seat if you have, you know, more than two people in here. So we're going to just unlatch this and pull it down. You can't do it with just this middle piece, I don't think. We'll give it a try just to check it after. But the way they tell you to do it is pull down this whole middle piece here. I think it's because you really need the table to be mounted further up here for resting purposes to have it more sturdy versus like way back here. So what you get, so you're laying this out like this. You got that piece over here protected. So the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to take the table, we're going to open it up, and then we're going to pop out the side that's going to be attached to the door, hooked onto the door. These are two plastic pieces that are kind of like inside each other like this. So we're just going to take this. I'm going to peel this up, pop off the top one, sort of push out the bottom one, and you can see what that's doing there. So this part's going to hook onto the door at that location that we just covered up or got ready. So what we're going to do that is we're going to take the little magnet piece and we're going to snap it on the portion that's on the bottom side. So there's two little rubber pads on this. There's a, low, a bigger one down here that's all magnetic. And then there's one up here, but there, no, and nothing can stick to this piece. This is a piece, uh, the spot it needs to go on. And it can be put really anywhere on that, on that area to adjust it how you need. Then you just kind of hook it on that door handle and then put it nice and flat down here like this. So it's actually really quite surprising how sturdy this, this really is. And you, you can really adjust these. So on the magnets here, you can twist these. So if you want to raise the table or lower it, you can twist these up and down. And again, you can move them around on the bottom by just changing where you magnetize it to get it to the spot where you want. So if we were to take our laptop in the back here, if we're the ones that are fortunate not to have to drive on the big road trip, you can see you can sit here and work. And it's at a very natural level and it works really well. I am seeing a little bit of teetering up and down as I'm sitting here, like I'm putting too much weight forward, but when my hands are on it, my, my forearms are pressing it down so you have all the, the support you need. It's just when you take your hands off, it tips a little bit, so you can maybe adjust on the back side here. Yeah, so it's a little bit better. You can, you can really adjust where you have that, but as far as it fitting in here, it's very simple, very easy to install. And if you're someone that works out of the back seat of your car, tell her, and I'm sorry about the sun. The sun's been gone the entire day, and all of a sudden it comes out the second I start recording, of course. But it's, yeah, like I said, it's very easy to set up, and it seems to work pretty well. So I think probably the best use case for this that I can see, especially for someone like me, is like if my wife is driving, and I can sit here with my laptop while I'm driving down the road and have a big surface area where I can have my laptop here and my mouse right here and actually be able to work going down the road. That is very ideal and it's something that i think a lot of people maybe maybe you also work from your car maybe you have a lot of off time maybe you're a realtor or something and you have your laptop all the time inside of your car or someone who travels to your clients uh, like i do there's a lot of times you don't have time to go back to your office so you set up your workstation in your car well this really beats you know doing it on your lap again it allows you to use a mouse allows you to have like a table surface area but not something that takes up too much room in your car it's just so easily folded up and it's it's gone it's done so I think that is an incredibly useful, um, useful tool. And especially since if you happen to be sitting in the back, you can still use this variation of the table, this model. I think that's a really big, really big upgrade. But let me know what you guys think about this table down below in the comments. As always, I'll put my discount code and links to find more information about this down below. I never mentioned the price in the videos, but I put it down in the description because that's constantly changing, it seems, these days. So um, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. If you guys have any more questions about this table, put them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're interested in learning about the storage containers, stay tuned, that video will be coming out next.